Hello everyone, this is Yasser Ali and in this video I will be continuing the race to veteran these battles from literally five days ago like I recorded them I think September the 17th and I haven't had a chance to to cast them so I can upload them to YouTube and this video we're still playing the Wither Cup and I think I posted another video about this team I'll be like linking it to this team like uh, at the end of the video but yeah they swapped into wild rain i have a solid answer to wild rain which is which is uh Chalicent, but you know i'm a greedy i would like to get a bit before i swap or at least chip it and put it in the uh chip it and get some energy on my kendra so it can sweep later in the game because this cup is kind of unpredictable and i need to be prepared for everything so my jealous tier it's gonna sweep. We kill the first Pokemon. They still haven't shielded, and I swap to throw the Octazooka. I don't care if they, if I don't build for the Outrage. All I need is just the debuff. Now they are forced to throw the EQ that is debuffed. So do I shield? No, it's debuffed, and it doesn't care. They swap back the Blaziken. This is not ideal now, but hopefully, like those saved energy will come in handy. Especially since most people are running Bubble Beam, so most of the fighters are always trying to call a bait. That's why we're not running Bubble Beam. You know, you can't be it if you don't have it. And now we're stuck with this thing. I pretty much need the opponent to bait here. So I'm gonna call it. And we did call it. Because if they, if, if I shield the bait, they can still get to the EQ. And opponent realize that there is no win comfort for them. And there is no need to save that swamp. But moving into the next game, Cradley. Cradley beats two of my three Pokemons. But I have some decent fast move pressure here. So technically in... In an ideal world, I can shield. And my opponent will drop by. What a nice person. What a nice person. <laughs> Drop, dropping some positive comments in the Twitch chat. By the way, these live battles, I, I was playing live on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash yesterday. I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and during the weekend, 3 p.m. Central Time. And Monday, the, the next Monday. I will be doing an, a 16 hour stream so pretty much anytime you join i will be live and i will be like doing with like lots of amazing content creators here we're still running the child of all why for the for, for the memes right because a slash seems to be winning just because you hard win and it doesn't matter yeah where is your boldos trainer yeah i don't have it <laughs> i mean boldos is a horrible move non-stab as well so it won't make that that big of a difference a difference giant ball is a horrible move but it's a stab but it's insisted here so it's not going to do that much damage but i am sure at that point this point i can farm all the way down let's see what's going to happen here uh why didn't i throw a move there this might end up being non-ideal so let's see if they if they jab i need to throw an ideal timing which i did uh, we throw on like if you're playing three versus two turns you throw on odd numbers so you give them the least amount of three fast moves uh first is called i still live the second is called as long as they don't catch hopefully they don't catch so let's see what's gonna happen they throw another one and now i think they catch so i pretty much should lose this game why because i don't have bulldoze and the memes aren't gonna help me here <laughs> yeah if we had Bulldoze, we would have easy one right there. Like at this point, this game would have been GG. Imagine if Bulldoze this poison type. Yeah, my chat is happy. <laughs> Going to the next game. Uh, Kendra destroys Swamp, but as long as you shield the EQ. If you don't, it's still still a positive matchup. But if you shield it, you just dominate the matchup. Point to EQ, I shielded, and they are still staying in. So I'm like, I think they are gonna, they are ABA weak to this. So technically, they will either for, fight for lead. This is an easy bait for them if they want to bait, but I don't care. Uh, I have a hard wall to this, but to be honest, I would rather get a shield before I swap because it's an easy shield, right? And then my my Jellicent can overfall. So this is where they get to the Brave Bird. I don't care. The counter does zero damage. And we get the defense to drop, right? So I'm going to do three hexes, then, then throw. We throw on three, which is also ideal timing. Again, if you think uh, two, three turns versus two turns, ideally, you want 
uh, it's throwing odd numbers. Opponent has the ultimate code breaker. Typhlosion beats my entire back line. Like I need to live this and throw a move there. And I'm hoping that they don't shield. So I'm not going to reveal the third. I mean, they don't have a shield. What am I talking about? Uh, I'm just going to go straight Ice Punch. Because Ice Punch, like uh, Typhlosion doesn't have any, that amazing bulk. And I should be able to put it in farm down range. And we should win. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, this is the code breaker to this team. But we should be fine because fast move pressure is amazing. Like, look at this. Like, what are they going to do? Nuke? Then what? Nuke again? I can shield the nuke. They only have nukes, right? So, ideally, any shield is good here. But they will get my shields, which is non ideal. So, they try to call a bait for no reason. I can shield farm down with a healthy Kendra. A healthy Kendra is a healthy game. They swapped into a jealous end. So I'm, not, I'm just going to go for the outrage and then bait. That was a perfect timing, by the way, by me. Now, since we grab the shield, we shield. Why? Because I want to catch. We did catch. So, like, in this cup, you need skills and XLs. Okay, you need both. So you're seeing that. I am supposed to swap insta swap, but I don't want to insta swap because if I insta swap and my third lose to their third, I lose. So I pretty much need energy always. Why? What if my sand slash became a useless Pokemon? What if they have a cradle now in the back? How am I supposed to win? What if they have Ridge Rock? I cannot win. I need a healthy Kendra with energy because because Ridge Rock is is uh, very spammy. See, they have the Ridge Rock now. Now I need to get to this Gyro Ball, and this is pretty much the only game. When I used Gyro Ball. Like, this is the only one where Gyro Ball was actually better. And see, they have Regiro. So, saving that health on, 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 saving that energy on Kendra won me the game. Because Jelson does not beat Regiro. And they still have a catch. So, technically, the game would, would, would be much awkward, much more awkward. Moving into the next battle. Q time, Q time. 24.95. This is, by the way, if you're new to this team, five days ago. So, okay, they have, they have the A9, it's Father the Snow, they swap this, pretty much they have a second Charmer always, or an Obama Snow. So how am I supposed to win this? You threw the Psychic, I'm just gonna throw here, I'm at 100 energy, I'm just gonna do nice, see? Skills and XLs, so we have two XL Pokemon. And we're hoping for the X okay now what do we do? <laughs> this thing just walls us. So let's see, since we killed the Charmer, there is no way they have an answer, right? Well, I would rather have Kendra here over just giving them million energy. Maybe this not this is not ideal, but it should be fine. Let's see. I mean lantern is a code breaker to the entire team. Especially since we don't have bulldoze. So we can't hit hard hit with super effective back. I didn't get any defense drop, which is kind of weird. I'm just going to throw the gyro ball here and hoping that he does something. And they shielded. They threw. So you know what's going to do now? I'm going to go back to that one HP Kendra. Because I live one serve if they decide to throw a serve. So they will be forced to throw all of their energy if they bait. Yeah, so that does nothing. I double resist. And now they used all of their energy. So now I am in a much better situation. I don't need to throw. So technically they just get to the Thunderbolt because it's 7, I think. I can over farm a lot here. Doesn't matter what's this. Even if it's Boulders, I wouldn't care. Yeah, I'm going Ice Beam. Why Ice Beam? Because I don't know how much under the charge Shadow Ball do. So I'm going to throw the double resisted move so I can do that right there. So that was an amazing under the charge. And we win the game. See, sometimes a, a code breaker doesn't mean you just lose the game. And we hit the veteran rank. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the this series, The Road to Veteran. And after this one, we will start the Road to Expert. And I will believe be playing, I think, Ultra League, Premier Classic, and Master League, both. But today, I, on stream, I will be going live. I mean, this video will be live tomorrow, so technically, I don't know what I'm talking about today. 
Uh, the first two days I will be playing Ultimate Premier Classic for content because people always try, need need like some new teams so I can have them as soon as possible. This is an easy matchup with Jelly. I can literally farm all the way down. Uh, shield is fine here. I do live though, so it's not kind of like a must shield. Now just a blind shadow ball. Nothing in this cover is a shadow ball outside Pyro. <laughs> and and uh, the new Pyre started, I think, the last the last gen that we have. Okay, this Swamp is going to have a wall. Okay, what do we do now? They have A slash. I need a debuff. Okay, we get the debuff. Now I'm going to go for the catch. Big catch, yes. Yeah, what did you catch? I didn't catch anything. Chill. It didn't work. Opponent was patient. And because of the debuff, the fast move doesn't KO. So let's see. Yeah, A slash is kind of spammy. Like five fast moves. You don't get like the best fast moves. Like so you know how Swampert gets like an OP move in five, and then four. A slash get like a kind of a Papega move in five four. Is it five four or five five? But yeah, having Shadow Claw is amazing. A slash because it's cool. Yeah, a slash is like a better version of Obama Snow. I don't see a reason to use Obama Snow if you have an a slash. Uh, this is an awkward matchup for both. Like Jellison needs to shield the shadow with the, the the outrage, and Kingra needs to call the uh, bubble beam bait. So we shielded the shadow ball. This is better for us. They swap to Empoleon. I have all the energy in the world. I don't need to throw it on on Empoleon. I they they are trying to bait out my Jellison, but I don't care. Why? Because that Kingra is chipped, right? So I can have my A slash, which is that uh, jelly, if I want. But since they are swapping this, that means they are trying to bait it out, which means they have a fighter in the back. So it's most likely going to be a Blaziken, right? So that's why I didn't use my energy on Kingra in case they have the Blaziken in the back. And it turns out to be A slash. So they have all the energy in the world. I do have so much energy though, so it's not that big of a deal. And if I get a debuff here, that would be like amazing. Okay, no debuff. I don't care. The gel scent isn't that isn't that healthy. My my A slash can take care of it. No, no, no need to shield. I'll see what they do. So they swapped the jelly back. I threw here a bait. Because they if they call it, they lose the game, right? So that's why you bait, because they like they are supposed to shield because if they call a bait they lose and i'm trying to be like aggressive on farming here one two three four okay we throw one four which is the ideal timing one for seven two from uh, two versus three you throw in one for seven and i can just go straight ice punch here because i'm being greedy no reason to oh boy if they get to two they win <laughs> I think there, there was a lag, but still, even if they throw it, they die to the next one. Blaziken, you have nowhere to go. We have two hard answers to Blaziken, but Blaziken hits hard. Look at the fast move pressure. Like for a fire Pokemon versus water, this is solid for them. And they shielded and swapped. I'm like, what What am I supposed to do? I mean, I'm like, okay, let's just go Jellicent. Yes, they do super effective fast move pressure, but they have the worst moveset in the game, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I can hex down at this point. Do I shield? I kind of want to shield. Because I can hex down. And I will leave with lots of uh, energy. And they already shielded, so there is no reason to not shield, right? I'm like, there is no way they swap back. I need to call this bait. We did call this bait. Yeah, since we called it, they will no shield. I need to get to this. If I don't get to this, it's going to be weird. And they didn't do their move, which is good for me. And they called the bait, so now I should win. Why did they call it when it's a guaranteed shadow ball? Well, they ha I haven't revealed my third, right? So they were like, I we still haven't seen the third, so if it's cradle, they lose, right? 
So that's why sometimes you don't reveal the third. Because your third might lose to their third. And you don't want them to know that. They swap into Kendra. I just went A slash. In this matchup, you want to instead of the ice punches in case they get a debuff. So you will be already chipping them in, in a healthy amount where you can kill them even with debuffed uh, Pokemon. So we didn't get they didn't get the debuff, which is amazing for us. Now, if I land this, I think I'm just gonna go for the full farm down because I don't care at this point, and we were able to farm it down. That's the an I think that's an XL Kendra. An, an XL Kendra would have been able to throw another Octazooka. It's not that big of an XL, it's like level 42, I think. But yeah, it's uh like the difference is, is huge. That's uh, I see, that's why I don't recommend using a lucky IV one. Well, if you have it, you have it. If you don't have it, it's better to go for the, the the bulky one. I think there is one more battle after this. Bulldoze. Yeah, see, it does nothing. Like, uh, uh, we get the shield. Now, I don't care about timing because I just need to get this move. To throw this move without doing anything. So, do I care about shielding? No. If he baits, that's better for me. If he doesn't bait, I'm fine with that. So now I have a healthy Kendra and I have a Jellicent. I went back to Jelly because I can force him to throw his energy and chip him a bit. Okay, they made a mistake. Bringing a Swampert here is kind of a mistake. So I need to shield this because they don't get to a second move. So that's why they nuke, right? Uh, this is a Hydro. Now, do I just outrage? Okay, they top left. Moving to the last battle, Kendra into Cradley. Cradley is kind of cold breaker to this team, and with ABA weak to it, but we have fast move pressure. They don't. I think I messed up in this game. So let's see what they what I did. I shielded one. That's fine. And I threw on a horrible timing. Okay, you see this? This is why you need to, to optimize your, your fast move timing. They get an extra uh, uh, grass, uh, sorry, bullet seed. Now watch this game. Because of that extra bullet seed, they get to another move. So I'm forced to shield twice and they left the matchup with two shields advantage. And there is no way I win this game, especially after not getting that fast move. I'm still working on the optimize your fast move video, by the way. <laughs> I know it's been like a very long time and they have a lantern in the back. So this is pretty much GG. And this is a 4-1 set, and we ended the day at 25, 58. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And this is the end of the series, Road to Veteran. And we will set another one called Road to Expert. And thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like if you're new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe. This is the end of the video, and see you in the next one. Peace.